Today I'm very excited. Yeah. We're actually gonna try to feed Juliet for the very first time since she's been here. I like the fact that Lucy and Juliet are separated right now, so I have the best chance of getting them to eat. But in order to do that, we have to actually go get some rabbits because we're out right now. So we're gonna get on the road. And by the way, later on, I'm gonna give you guys a health update. Uh, it's not exactly the best of news, but uh, hang on. I will definitely do that later in the vlog. Okay, we'll be back. I've been fortunate to have a rabbit source actually here locally. It's about 40 minutes away from the shop, but the fact is is that the problem with feeding giant snakes big food is that the cost of shipping is so much. Oftentimes the shipping cost is worth more than the actual cost of the prey items. I've been literally coming here for 30 years picking up rabbits. They always take care of me. They're pathogen-free rabbits, meaning they're super clean. They always have them just ready for me. They humanely euthanize them and freeze them for me, so they're ready to go. This time, because we're feeding today, I asked them to take out a few of them so that they would thaw out so we could feed today. Normally I would have to put them out today and I wouldn't be able to feed tomorrow but as soon as we get back to the shop we're going to see Yet and Lucy want to eat along with all the other snakes. loaded up. Nothing like having about 350 pounds of rabbits in the back of your truck. <laughs> Let's hope we don't get pulled over by the cops because uh, that would be a little awkward. All right, so we're back at the shop, and before we try to feed Juliet and Lucy, of course, we're gonna try to feed Ivy and Ariana. Ivy's actually just starting to go and shed, so I don't know if she's gonna eat, but I can guarantee you this girl's gonna eat. There is no doubt about that one. So I'm gonna actually take Ariana out now and try to feed Ivy. So again, with her going into blue, I don't know if she's gonna eat, but I'm definitely gonna give it a shot. That was a for sure. She was kind of going crazy. I think it's because her eyes are a little glazed over. So she was like going back and forth. As soon as she smelled that pig, wham, she took it. Ooh, me? Mm, I need a ball. You want to do the ball? Ugh, that was only a little scary. Yeah. Next up we have Gemma, and then we're going to try Juliet and Lucy, and hopefully they'll both eat, but I have no idea what's going to happen. But I have a feeling that Gemma is going to like this pig, but I'm not 100% sure. Come on, girl. You want to try to eat? Here you go, bud. Come on, Gemma. Gosh, it's weird that she isn't interested. She's usually crushing food lately. Looks like a no-go for Gemma. And that just happens from time to time. Certain animals just don't want to eat. Hopefully we'll have more luck with Juliet and Lucy. Boom! Sally's up the Blue Baron's Racer. Here you go. Oh, you missed it. There you go, girl. What's Zuko mean? Um, I don't know. <laughs> She's so cute. Bandit here. This snake eats faster than anybody in the world, except for maybe Mike. There you go. And like I said, it'll crush that in like under a minute. Look at how gorgeous this Madagascan tree boa is. Come on, bud. Wanna eat? There, oh, that wasn't hard at all. I was just saying how sometimes it's a little difficult to get this guy to eat, but uh, didn't have any problem today. I love my new accessories on the keychains. What's different? I don't know, Matilda? Matilda try to eat it? No, I don't know. There's video proof. I watched my keys get eaten in a different state. So there's basically two things going on. Number one, Juliet just came, so she might still be adjusting. We know that Gemma took 15 months to get going. Hopefully Juliet won't. Two, it is winter time still. And this is a time where retics usually do slow down a little bit. Lucy hasn't eaten in about six weeks or so. So I don't know if these guys are gonna eat, but we're gonna give it a try. We'll try Lucy first. Let's see if she wants to come. She doesn't show any interest yet, but she hasn't flicked her tongue. Once she flicks her tongue, it's gonna know that there's something here potentially that she might wanna eat. But right now she's being a little bit weird. So I'm I'm gonna go over to Juliet to see if Juliet has any action at all. At least flicking her tongue, but I don't know. Come on, Juliet. Boy, it would make me so happy if she ate today. Just not seeing any feeding reaction at all. And Lucy still hasn't even put her tongue out. It's just all part of it, guys. Sometimes things go really well, other times they don't. Juliet keeps on flicking that tongue, like she's showing some interest, but just can't get her to come around on it. It's a little bit sketchy being in here with two 20 foot snakes and a couple of rabbits. Not looking good. Now she at least knows I'm here. Come on girl, come on. That's a food girl? All right guys, total fail in this. My three biggest girls, Gemma, Juliet, and Lucy, all just on a strike. But I know there's a lot of other stuff that's gonna eat today. Come on butterscotch, come on girl. 
Oh, she got it! Tug of war with a big snake. She's another one that was actually going into shed, so I didn't know if she was gonna eat. I'm like, geez, is anything gonna eat today? But Butterscotch just on that very edge, just like Ivy, and she ended up taking it. Professional. Number three anaconda for the day, beer day. Oh yeah. <laughs> My goodness gracious, that was quick. She's so fast. I am G Boa. Do we do we ever come up with a name for this one yet? Not uh, yet. Black eyed peas. Down, down in the comments, let me know what you think. I am G Boa. Um come on. Woo! Army. Fight me. Oh, that was scary. That was a real close call, Noah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Not even moving and wham! Nailed it. Cupcakes do sound pretty good right now though. I'm gonna have Noah do El Toro because uh yeah. I'm a professional. Whoa, you see that? Perfect headshot. He did a good job. Things are acting weird today. Hate it, boy. One of those days, something must be in the air. Things are just eating so strange. Back at you with my friends over at HelloFresh. Been using these guys for years, and I truly love their service. Today, we're going to do an Italian chicken over lemony spaghetti. What could be better than that? Make mealtime easy with delicious recipes made with fresh, wholesome ingredients delivered to your door. No lines, no hassles, just great tasting meals you can whip up and enjoy in the comfort of your home. March is Natural Nutrition Month, and HelloFresh makes it easy to choose delicious, dietitian approved meals. Simply look at the dietitian win tag on their menu choices for meals under 700 calories and with one third less sodium. HelloFresh has 40 weekly recipes to choose from from all their meal occasions, lifestyles, and preferences. Take your pick from meals like soy glazed salmon or mushroom and chai risotto. HelloFresh makes it easy to eat what you love. Customize select meals by swapping proteins or sides and even adding proteins to a veggie dish. And now you can even upgrade for organic chicken or organic ground beef on select meals. With HelloFresh, you're getting seasonal ingredients picked at the peak ripeness for quality you can taste. Ingredients travel from farm to your home in less than seven days, so you know they're fresh. Go to HelloFresh.com, use code BRIANB60 for 60% off plus free shipping. And now for my favorite part. Mm. Go to HelloFresh.com, use my promo code BRIANB60 and get 60% off plus free shipping. She loves rabbits. Sunrise has definitely been super into food. Look at her head pop up already. Oh boy! Mike, you got the food. There you go, Mike. You're in. Head first. There he goes. It's gonna be a good meal for her. That's a lot of weight in that first two feet. <laughs> definitely not the position I'd like to see her in when I'm offering her a meal like this. And I hope that I'm not in the way. Oh, that was an easy strike. She's gonna dangle that sucker down. That's gonna be a nice meal. I tell you what, that's awesome. Sunfire is gonna get a giant meal. Gemma was supposed to get this meal, but uh, Sunfire gets lucky and gets it. That's a big pig. Johnny's gonna enjoy cleaning that up later. Sometimes you just gotta play with them a little bit. Professional. Fredita is up next, and she is up in the tree. Last time she was up here, Brian got bit in the arm, so we gotta be extra careful with this one. Uh. That was so gentle. You can certainly see that Jeffrey is ready to eat for sure. Oh, here you go, bud. Here it is. There you go, buddy. And you know, feeding snakes is awesome. You know, as many times I've done it, it's still so therapeutic. And I'll be sharing with you guys some things here just a little bit later in the vlog. But I'm praying that I'll still be able to come in and feed snakes during this process because it's what I've done my whole life. And not having this would be absolutely devastating to me. I plan on being here every week to feed these guys. Okay. Snaz is up next. We'll see how this goes. He's always hyper. Take the pig. Please grab the pig. Oh, that's a good boy. Too that's easy. Been, everyone's been so cooperative today, you know? No close calls at all. Oh, snap. Mike, should we go check on Perdita? Oh, we're dirt. She's trying to eat the freaking arm, dude. That's never going to work. I don't think geography works like that. Oh, I learned that in elementary. Here you go, Nubbins. This snake is like clockwork. It always eats. We've had this snake for like four years. I don't think it's ever refused a meal one time. And now today it's gonna refuse. Wow, that's crazy. Come on, here's your face. What are the odds? Maisie, you hungry? Of course you're hungry. She always eats like a champ. Of course, Snap, the black-headed python, should eat. But of course, Pop is full of eggs and gonna be laying pretty soon. So she's definitely not gonna eat. Oh, wow. 
Wow. He's good. I'm gonna have to probably get him out or take her out relatively soon, but I think she might lay right there on that rock under the heat lamp. She is full of eggs. Like I said, it's a weird day. Things are eating all kinds of weird. Look at Perdita. She's literally eating its paw first. She's not going head first. I don't think she can get it down that way. She's gonna probably have to back out and start all over again. It's a weird day of feeding here at the Reptarium. Marshmallow is definitely graduating to a larger size meal, so hopefully he'll like pigs. There he goes, a cute little monkey. Again, getting big. This animal's gonna, you know, definitely get another five or six foot here, probably in the next year, year and a half. This is the size that when they graduate up to bigger meals like pigs and small rabbits, that they really start to explode in size. I remember when Jeffrey was this size, and literally now Jeffrey is huge compared to this, and it's only been about a year. Ice cube. Oh, that was a close call. Next up is my boy Lucky. I don't see where your head is, but I'm sure it's right there. Okay, oh, there he is. There you go, Lucky. There it is. Oh, goodness gracious. Dad, I think you're jinxing us. <laughs> Speaking about jinxing us, this is the snake that always gives me the heebie-jeebies because it always is shooting off, and there's no way to really get your hand out of the way. Don't do it. Oh, no. Be good to me, please. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that, that was definitely anticlimactic. <laughs> he didn't even take it. Of course, Bowser's always the recipient when something does leak. Ooh. <laughs> so that ends the fun part of this vlog in all the feeding. Okay, so now for the update. Um, you know, I got my biopsy back. The results were what we expected it to be, which is pancreatic cancer. Nothing to believe that it was going to go any other way. I guess there was a sliver of hope, but uh, that's past now. And and um, gonna, they want me to start chemo uh, next week. It's a pretty aggressive course. I always said that I wouldn't do chemo, that, that I would never do that. But when you get into the position that I'm in at this point, you just want to live and you want to battle. I know a lot of you have sent me messages and in the comments, and I've researched every avenue possible from stem cell to all kinds of different new way treatments, exhausted everything I have. And the one thing that I know is that these holistic ideas, or even stem cell, which is not holistic, is, is you know, could help, but if it doesn't help, I'm signing my death sentence 100%. So I have to think to myself, is it worth it to try some alternative medicine, knowing that if it fails, there's now 0% chance of survival, or do I do what I never wanted to do, which is chemo, and have a, a percentage chance of survival? So. Basically, it is, unfortunately, the most aggressive chemo they can give you. Not supposed to be fun. I don't know how I'm going to react. Some people react better than others. Treatment's every two weeks, so I'm hoping that uh, no matter how bad it is, that there will be a period of time in there where I start to recover and start to feel myself and I have some normal days before I get ready to go through it. They want to go through uh, up to six months before they basically try to take the tumor out. So they have to just shrink the tumor away from some veins, and that is, um, hopefully that's what'll happen. I can tolerate, hopefully, and, and hopefully I make it through that four to six month treatment. After two months, they scan you, see if it's shrinking. After four months, they scan you, see if it's shrinking. And if it's shrunk enough at that point, and the surgeon feels like, hey, we can go in now, it could be four months from now. If they feel they need to continue to shrink, it could be up to six months from now before surgery. It is a really major surgery, about a 12 week recovery just on the surgery alone. So uh, so we've got some battles ahead, guys, you know, but all your love and support has meant the world to me. And, and, and I have, you know, done some of the things you guys have said to do, you know, whether it's diet or oxygenation or alkalinity. And, I mean, all, I'm trying to do it all, you know, I'm trying to do everything I could possibly do to give myself the best chance, build my immune system to get through this treatment and then ultimately get through this surgery. The good news is if I can get through the treatment and it does shrink this tumor, it doesn't seem to have spread. There's a couple little limps that have a couple cysts, but you know, it's not in my other organs. So it's pretty much mainly isolated in the pancreas. And what isn't in the pancreas will probably be killed by the chemo. They're not worried about those other things at all because they're small enough. Uh, it doesn't seem to have spread anywhere else, which is really good news. So essentially, I have to get through the chemo. I'm going to try to be here as much as I can. On the days that I feel up to it, I'm going to be here vlogging. I'm hoping on the days that I'm not feeling up to it, I'll still vlog some stuff from home. Let me know in the comments if you want to still hear from me every day because even if I'm in bed feeling really sick, I'd be happy to talk to you guys. If you guys want that, let me know in the comments if that's what you want. When I feel up to it, I'm going to be here 
trying to work as much as usual and uh, keep the, the ball rolling the best I possibly can. And then after the six months, you know, if they can resect or take this tumor out, get all the cancer out of there, uh, my odds go up a lot, you know, and, and, and I think we beat this thing, you know. I think we beat this thing no matter what because we have the reptile army behind me. And all your thousands and tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions, whatever it is, of prayers are mean a lot. And, and, and that's going to help me push through. So remember to keep commenting because I'm going to keep reading your comments. And uh, that's going to keep me inspired and keep me battling on the days that maybe I might feel like I'm a little defeated. So yeah, so I don't know exactly what day. I still have doctor's appointments today, tomorrow, and the next day and again a couple days after that before I know but it's probably within let's say the next seven to ten days um, I will start treatment and then I'll know after that how that treatment is going to affect me and how uh, much so a uh, couple things keep your prayers coming and to do me a favor please it's so important to me to keep this vlog going so like when I'm not here like I said if you guys want I can still vlog from home when I'm not here please support this channel when I'm gone so that when I come back full force the reptile army is still as strong as it ever is hopefully even stronger than it's ever been you guys are amazing and I appreciate you so um that's the update for now guys uh we'll uh, you know buckle up and, and fight this thing head on and i hope that you guys appreciate my decision because i know some of you out there are probably like brian don't do chemo i hope you appreciate my decision and can be respectful of that decision and when you're in the position that i'm in and it's like maybe survive or maybe not survive you do everything you can do to survive because i've got a lot more to do in life you know we got to build this aquarium out we've got so many more adventures so many more things to do and uh, i'm not done yet and I'm, i can't be done yet so um so yeah friends family you guys are going to help me through this so uh that's it i'll keep you guys updated as we go